good evening. To everybody that's a TI, thinks they're a TI, or, you know, just doesn't feel right. But even if it seems like they've let up, they ain't done with you. They still have some some business with you. There's my helicopter right there. Don't go up school right now because I don't know what that's for. Don't take her up school because I don't know what that's for. Don't take her up school. I don't know what that's for. Who you chatting with? Yeah, it doesn't stop. You're either getting buzzed all the time, you know. They're not done with you, even if it slacks up. So just keep praying. Keep your wits about you. And stay on the right side. I mean, don't break no laws. Don't hurt no one or yourself. Stay positive, and don't let anyone take that away from you. They can humiliate you and slander you now, but that's not for eternity. Eternity is when you go and you got to be judged by the Lord. That's eternity. So. If you've changed your life around from doing things that you shouldn't to doing things that you should or, you know, helping others in need or trying to tell others, you know, not to, you know, to be careful who they pick as, as friends because you know, one day it could blow up in their face. Not all my friends have made it. PTSD, anxiety, all they do is increase that factor. And then they give you trust issues to where you can't trust people. And that's the sad part, especially if you're used to helping others. So, just read your Bible and take comfort and knowing that it's not forever and just keep doing what you normally do reading and you know praying and had to get you through it I mean if not would have done cut my fingernails from being stressed out but I put it in the Lord's hand so if people do you wrong and you know they put you on this list people to, you know, be followed and targeted and all that bullshit. This flies like sand in your in your pants at the beach or it flies in your face. Don't pay no attention to it.
Bible says, what comes around goes around. And treat others how you want to be treated. This dude just come down the street. It says treat others how you want to be treated. And it, it you know, don't judge people when, you know, it just seems like they don't tell these people the whole truth, the truth at all, whatever. I mean, my wife passed away in 2012, I've spent half that time just trying to get over that fact and uh, now it just seems like you know I'm, I'm trying to move a, a little more forward I started going out with a hobby, you know, metal detecting, and, you know, I was alone, because that's how I like to do it. But when they start sending, you know, people to flock where you are, you know, your little, your little zone becomes a hotbed of traffic. You, you don't want to go do it no more. Especially if you start to have trust issues with people. You want to just stick to yourself. But for those who commit these crimes, you know, you're up in people's privacy and just remember if, if you're watching somebody, somebody's watching you. So, at the end of the day or whatever, they got to an answer up to. And if this program ever, ever, it, you know, comes out, American people are, are, are going to be furious that it even went on, especially if someone has lost their loved one to this program for the harassment. Because harassment, bullying, stalking, All of it is, is just flat out wrong. So I'll see how it goes the next couple of days. While I'm out, I got a couple of appointments that I have to keep. But if, if it doesn't all clear up for me, well, I guess I'm going to have to move. I'm not going to be subject to stuff all the time and then go out and be subject to more so God bless have a nice evening Read your book to clear your mind.